Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and in today's video, we're gonna talk about septic tank baffle replacement. So what do we mean by baffle? All right, well, let me show you. So this is a diagram of an onion-shaped septic tank. All right, and so if I explain how it works and why you need a baffle, then you'll have hopefully a better understanding of what a baffle is. So inside an onion tank, so this is the outside of the shell of the onion tank. All right, so if I put here, look, if I put it up to there, onion, onion tank, right? And you've got an inlet pipe, an onlet, uh, an onlet, an outlet pipe, and you've got some T pieces here. And inside you've got this black line that I've drawn. Well, that is called a liner, right? It's like a black rubber liner inside the tank right and it's actually held into place inside the neck of the tank by hooks here all right so like that all right and what happens is the wastewater comes into the septic tank here like so it then fills up the septic tank like so so i've done it in brown because although wastewater's Sounds a very clean name, you know. In reality, the wastewater is murky, it's brown, it's got lots of bits and bobs floating around in it, stuff like that. All right, and so that is the reality of a septic tank. It's like a big stomach, right? And so why do you need a baffle, number one? All right, all right, so because you got in the wastewater, there's number ones, there's number twos, you've got poo, you've got wee, you've got fat grease in the sludge uh, made up from hair, and as I said, poo, and um, bits of hair, bits of skin, vegetable peelings, and lots of and fat and grease from cooking and stuff like that. So all that stuff's floating around. Now, if that went, now if that came straight into the tank and then floated straight out into the soakaway, it would block and clog the soakaway up. All right, so to prevent that, they put in the tank what's called a baffle. Now this black liner in the onion tank is a classic example of a baffle. Now a baffle is basically means a partition or, or a divide or a separator that separates the liquid from the solids. And what happens when all the liquid comes, the wastewater comes into the tank, it swirls around in there, right, in a current. And then through this baffle here, it gets separated. So the wastewater goes on the inside of the liner and then comes up here and then comes into the pipe here and then basically is discharged into the soak away. So that's basically how um, an onion tank baffle liner works. Now as I showed you in the picture here it's normally held up by hooks and what happens over time because of the amount of water that goes in there, the black liner sags and it becomes tears, literally tears off there or becomes dislodged. And then what happens is the black liner collapses and falls down to the bottom of the onion tank here. So then this becomes one big mass of plastic. Now, because no separation work can take place anymore, what happens is there's nothing to divide off the solids and the fat and the grease from the wastewater. So then what happens is instead of clean wastewater leaving the septic tank going down into the soak away, you've got all the fat and the grease and the sludge that then leave the tank and make their way into the soak away, which in time in a year or two will completely block it up. So that's how the septic tank baffle works or should work unless it obviously <laughs> breaks right and um, <clears throat> and that's what they're for that's what they do and that's why you need one now with the onion tanks right there really isn't a happy ending to this <laughs> a video that I've done because once you, your uh, black liner has sagged or fallen to the bottom of the onion tank it's virtually impossible to raise them and lift them again and attach them to these hooks here. Oh, I'll do that in black so you can see. So literally like they're like J hooks, right? 
And it's literally impossible. When I first got into the septic tank business 20 years ago, I found this to be a very common problem. And, you know, I'd try and lift them back up and reattach them to the hooks. But once the black liner has split, it's torn and it's stretched and it's become psyche, you just can't fix them. You just can't. Um, I suppose you can, but you'd have to cut the neck off and get down on it. And it would cost you a thousand, two, three thousand quid to do. I mean, if you consider, right, you could buy an onion tank for six, seven hundred quid, then, you know, it's just mathematically, <laughs> financially, it doesn't make any sense to do that. But the reason I've done this video is because many people, um, when they find their septic tanks, uh, uh, their soak away is becoming blocked or they're having to get it emptied all the time, or they open the lid and see that they've just got hooks there hanging in the neck of the tank and the black line has fallen, they wonder what to do. So they go onto Google and they type in uh, septic tank baffle replacement and they wonder what's happened, number one, and what the solution is, number two. Well, that's what's happened for number one. And number two, the solution is you just have to replace your septic tank. So um, you pay for what you get for. I mean, the onion tanks are good tanks, but then they're cheap for a reason um, because they, um, you know, they do the job, but they don't last very long. And uh, that's my opinion, by the way, uh, from my experience of all the um, repairs and replacements I've had to do with the onion tanks. Personally, I'd go for a low profile um, bullet shaped septic tank any day. They haven't got any liners in anything like that. They've actually got partitions and compartments in that actually, you know, are proper baffles, you know, unlike the liners, which are a baffle technically, but they, you know, can go wrong as you've seen here. So listen, thank you very much for watching this video today. If you'd like to see more free help and advice then just go to septictank.co.uk or if you'd like to see my Septic Tank TV channel, go onto Google and type in Septic Tank TV. You'll see my YouTube channel there. And if you subscribe to my Septic Tank TV channel, right, you're in with a chance to win a year's worth of septic tank bacteria worth £100 and a free bucket of septic tank soak away worms, which if your baffle has broken, right, you can tip into the tank and these worms will eat all the fat and the grease and the sludge in the tank and in the soak away. They actually live in the tank. If there's oxygen present in the tank, i.e. you know, you've got to flow in, you've got to flow out and you nip it in the bud that your liner has fallen down, you can put these worms in and they'll live in there and they will clean and eat up all this fat and the grease and the sludge, even though your liner has bro broken. And they'll live in the pipes going towards your soak away and live in the soak away. And that's one way in which many, many people um, actually repair and find a, a really cost effective solution to fixing um, broken baffle problems. So listen, thank you very much for watching. You take care and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.